that whole job salary configuration? It's a money trap. Kind of like a rat trap. You know, you get stuck and then you can't escape. Oh, maybe that's why they call it a rat race. So you go to work at your job every day, so you get paid your salary at the end of the month, so you can then pay your bills and finance your life and so on. But what if, what if you wanted to opt out? Well, it's a trap, you can't. <laughs> you could have been spending your life and time and energy and inspiration and all that good stuff you have to give, building your own businesses, your own income streams and dreams, but you didn't. You had a job. You spend all that good stuff building other people's businesses and companies. And now you need that salary so you can't opt out of that job. Money, even if a lot of it, isn't actually an adequate compensation for what the job takes away from us, I think. So these progressive engineers and scientists thought, wow, it's got to be up to us to do something new. So they set about pencil and pad to create a new economic system from the ground up, from scratch, design the whole thing. And they this is what they called it in 1938. This was their magazine. They said, this is a direct quote, technocracy is the science of social engineering. That's number one. The scientific operation of the entire social mechanism to produce and distribute goods and services to the entire population. The science of social engineering See, that was a big thing back then. If we're going to create the perfect economic system, then why not engineer the people to fit into it, make them docile and happy, and they'll own nothing and be happy. See, before government destroyed the land and created this scarcity that we see here, because nature didn't create scarcity. People, come on now. You think nature going to make an earth and put all of this life on it and not have enough of everything? Come on now. Nature created the earth, but she didn't make enough for everybody to have enough, so y'all got to compete for it. Sounds crazy, right? But they would have you believe that. Blasphemy. But basically, to me, you're talking about your health, your youth, your sense of happiness and fulfillment, your relationships with the people in your life. I don't know about you, but most, in fact, all of that appear to me to be stuff that money can't actually replace. That's that really okay? So then my third big realization about money, it's really what kicked me across the line to deciding to quit. And it's simple really. Money controls us until we learn how to control our money. They can't allow the earth to heal itself and function like it naturally supposed to. Because if the earth function how it naturally supposed to, Everything will be distributed abundantly, evenly, just like we read in the Garden of Eden. We was eating, man, in that garden. We was eating, buddy. Like we say today, if you don't work, you don't eat. Yeah, but what happens when it ain't no work? Then you don't eat. Because you live in a false world where you think work is being a celebrity, work is being a doctor, work is being a damn stripper, work is being a janitor. Your true work as a human was being a gardener. That knowledge of the seed and of the soil is the knowledge that kept us alive for generations and surviving. The only way we can go is stink is losing that knowledge for real when you think about it. If everything shut down right now, we always can go back outside and become gardeners again, right? Nope, because you don't have the knowledge. You know how to twerk though. You know what I'm saying? You know how to goddamn run footballs, basketball, you know all that. But the knowledge of the earth and that which will really sustain us, we swap that for the for the for the these new titles that we got in this matrix world.